the dawn of man, scientists have longed to travel through time. In the late 1960s, a crack team of geniuses combined their talents to attempt to break the time barrier. In the Florida Keys, Dr. Woodstock P. Havens was given the task of building a special space shuttle. Yeah, but I decided to make a submarine instead, man. So come on and join me as we float through time. <laughs> They were so awesome. God trusted them with so many important messages. Oh, oh what's up, handsome? High five. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, you haven't seen my Uncle Woody, have you? Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot. He went back in time with Isaiah. Yeah, but he's due back right now? Oh, dude, well, bring him back. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hide right here. Don't tell him I'm here. All right, see you, handsome. Thanks. Time travel alert. Time travel alert. We have a time travel visitor in three, two, one. I'm back on board the love sub. Oh, dudes, no matter how far I travel back in time, it's always good to come back home. Uncle Woody! Hey, what's up, <laughs> what's up, dude? How was your trip? Did Isaiah uh, get back home safe? Yeah, I got Isaiah back to where he was from in his own time, but I always feel so bad leaving him there. Oh, uh, dude, why? Well, you know, Isaiah lived long before Jesus was born. Oh. And all of God's people were just waiting and praying and hoping for a savior. Whoa, far out, dude. I can't imagine life without Jesus. Well, yeah. Who did the people put their faith in? They put their faith in God, man. Oh, yeah. I know Mary <laughs> did. Mary learned that nothing is impossible with God. Whoa. Hey, let me get out the uh, power source and I'll show you. Okay, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> <laughs> that gets me every time. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, uh, whoa! Wait, so wasn't Mary Jesus' mom? Yeah, well, she was about to be Jesus' mom, and she found out about it from an angel. Whoa, an angel? Dude, I've never seen an angel before. Oh, <laughs> oh thanks, handsome. But I, what I meant was I've never seen an, a real live angel, you know? Well, you know, neither did Mary until one appeared to her, and Whoa. his name was Gabriel. Whoa, whoa. What did Gabriel say to her, dude? He said she found favor with God. Whoa. What does that mean? Well, it means that, that God was really pleased with her. He had chosen her. And then uh. Gabriel told her that she was going to give birth to a son named Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Whoa. And he would be the son of the Most High. Whoa. He just told this, this young girl who didn't have a husband that she was going to give birth to the Son of God? Well, how could that even happen? That's what Mary asked. Oh, well, well, what did Gabriel say to that, dude? He said not to worry, that oh. the Holy Spirit would take care of all the details. But, dude, that, that, that seems like impossible. It is impossible <laughs> for us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but not for God. <laughs> Let's search your powers out there. Right, this is right here in the Word of God. Okay, get under the water. Marcus, whoa, the <laughs> island's frozen over. <laughs> okay, there it is. Whoa. For nothing is 
impossible with God. Wow, did the angel Gabriel say that? Mm, he sure did. Wow. Yeah, it was God's promise to Mary. Dude, that's a promise that no one can argue with because God's done so many impossible things. Like, like when he made the earth in like seven days. Yes, and when he created man and breathed life into us. Oh, dude, remember when he breathed life in those bones right in front of Ezekiel's eyes? <laughs> yeah, God is quite an expert at creating life where there was none before. Uh, amen, brother. <laughs> well, what did Mary do when she got the good news from Gabriel? Well, let's find out. We'll read it right now. Uh, I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Uh, and then the angel left her. Whoa, <laughs> dude, that Mary was one smart dude at. <laughs> it's a wise servant who trusts in God. After all, he's proven to us again and again and again that nothing is impossible with God. <laughs> Amen, brother. That's why they call it the miracle of Christmas. <laughs> mm, and Christmas is the greatest time of year to share the best miracle that ever happened. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> After all, no matter where you are in, in time, time, say it with us, kids. God, God is good, good all the time. time. Peace. 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 Peace.